Actually, what you need or what you're looking for is an embossed hologram. The one that you showed there, it's going to have a smooth surface. It's not going to have anything to actually pick up. I think you're looking for something to transfer the information to the bottom of your print on your 3D printer bed, right? So you're actually not looking for anything like this. These are photopolymer holograms, but you're looking for something like this, which is an embossed hologram. You can see the difference for the most part, right? I mean, it's, it's pretty distinct. I think we've probably all seen these. This is similar to what you're going to find on your credit card. Um, so what is an embossed hologram? What's that about? And where do you get them? There's a bunch of different chemistries involved in the holography and holography industry in general. Um, I primarily use DCG holography and I've started to use photopolymer holograms uh, this past year. But embossed holograms are a totally different animal. Because unlike the photopolymer, which have a smooth surface, as you can see, an embossed hologram is actually going to have a uh, actually has a texture to it. Now you can see it kind of right there, but you also have to understand that the actual pattern that creates the image is it's very very small. It's very very microscopic. Um, uh, an embossed hologram is a hologram that is actually pressed into a metallic material. Now how you get the original interference pattern, the original hologram, or the hologram master is similar to how I do my work here. I use some different materials. Now, there's a different type of film called photoresist, which effectively records the hologram in a physical peaks and valleys type of mountain range. And then you have to take that film and then you have to electroplate it. So you actually, uh, you create a master shim uh, by plating it with a nickel. Uh, and then from that, you have a, 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 essentially the negative in which you can grow more of the nickel shims on top of it if you electroplate layer, like small layers, right? And then you can take that and you put it around a drum roller. And then there's big machines that will take it and heat the material and then take that microscopic shimmy pattern of the nickel uh, master and then press it into new rolls of mylar. Most of this type of production is going to be overseas. I don't know if there's anybody in the States that actually does embossing anymore. Not sure. I have some sketches on how to design like a smaller version of this system. Uh, it's still going to be very involved though and pretty costly. But maybe one day we'll get it put together. You know. Maybe. <laughs>